I'm, I'm known as a drummer. Uh, I play for a lot of different artists, uh, most notably Fred Hammond. I played for Fred Hammond for close to nine years, about nine years. And uh, from that, did a lot of projects, but worked with a ton of artists after that and during that time. Um, and I really thank God for those, those times. He, he blessed me to be able to undergird Fred Hammond's ministry and different ministries, just like Roy said. Uh, uh, but uh, start of uh, January 07, I, st I started getting sick, but not really realizing what was going on with me. I um, started losing weight. And, um, you know, my wife would ask me all the time. My wife, Kimberly, is here. She normally never gets to come with me. So, I'll be married 20 years in September. 20 years. That, for a musician, is a feat. So, um, but I started getting sick. And uh, my wife would ask me all the time, was I depressed? And I'm, I'm not really outspoken when it comes to myself. I'm, I just kind of grin and bear it. You know, just, being a drummer, you know, using all of your limbs for all of your life, you're bound to be sore at some point or another. So you're just like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm all right. And, uh, but it progressed. It slowly progressed. And to, um, to make a long story very, very short, in December of 07, I was diagnosed originally with rheumatoid arthritis. As a drummer, not good. And then in January, they, the, my regular doctor sent me to a rheumatologist. And the rheumatologist had other thoughts. So she ran a ton of tests. And she came back systemic lupus. And that, for me, was a huge blow. Because they work kind of the same, lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, except that lupus can attack any portion of your body. I, I still don't know a whole lot about it. But God. But God, I am um, from January to March. It, I digressed quickly. I was on the road um, for the latter portion of the year with Mary Mary. I was playing drums and road managing. And um, every day was very hard. Very, very, very hard. So January, I was home. And uh, it was hard to even get out of bed. You know, my wife will tell you, you know, just regular every day, get up out of bed, jump in the shower was an ordeal. You know, 30, 40 minutes. And my, my bedroom from, from the master bath is 10 feet, maybe. March 8th, I had to crawl into the bathroom sit on the floor in the shower because I couldn't stand up. I couldn't stand up. And I sat on the floor and I told God, I can't do this. You've assigned me to mentor young musicians for your glory. And I can't get off the floor. How am I going to do this? I need your help. I need your help. Now, I've, I've been in church all my life. I've, I've never played with secular artists on a long-term level. You know, if, if I did play with a secular artist, it was a one-time deal. That's not my calling. It's just not my calling. But um, being able to reach the people that God has assigned for me was most important to me. And if I had fulfilled my assignment, I didn't know. So I'm sitting on this floor, water's hitting me in the face, and I'm like, Lord, I need your help. And I said, that, 
there's nothing else I can do. There, I can't even stand up. There's nothing else I can do. And I heard, I will help you. And the coolest breeze in the hottest shower came up. It came over me, and I was able to stand up. I gained strength from air. He breathed on me. I was able to stand up, finish, get to service, because we have Saturday night service now. Get to service, and that was the start of him healing me. That service, my faith grew. First service, Saturday mor uh, Sunday morning, 8.30. Worship was incredible. And it was just a breeding ground for the miraculous. And I wanted the miraculous. I had never been, I've seen many, many miracles, but I've never been a miracle. I've never been a miracle. I've played and been a part of people's services that have, they've, They've received sight. They've received their hearing. And I've, I was on the drums, you know, ushering that in. It's a wonderful thing, but I've never been one. So first service, faith grew a little more. Second service, it was pretty much overwhelming. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Third service, third service, um, the pastor said something, and I've heard it almost as a cliche, I don't know how many times, you know, playing for different people all over the world, you hear, it seems like all the uh, pastors have the same stuff, you know, churches and all of that, you know. So it's like, you know, if you want God to do something for you that he's never done, you do something for him that you've never done. And I've heard that so many times. And I'm the audio director at my ministry. Um, and I got on the floor under the council and I cried out to God. You know, the floor was nothing new to me. So I was, I was good on the floor thing. So as I was on the floor, I felt strength just overwhelm my body. So much so when I stood up, I could jump. I could leap, I could, I could run, I could run. People would see me and I couldn't, I couldn't do any of that. I mean, I, I walked like an old man, didn't I, honey? I walked like an old man. I stood up, the pastors had been looking for me. They looked back there, called me to the front. I came up, I said, God healed me. He said, we gonna seal it then. They prayed for me. I've never been the same. I've never been the same. Never been the same. Praise God. Praise God. So it's a it's a test it's the testimony that even in even in uh, everything the Lord had given me to do prior to now, plain, this is my this is my new assignment. And this is my new assignment for today. He hit it dead on the head. Pastor hit it dead on the head. And um, you know, I was just, you know, the past couple of days have been really solemn for me. And just the freedom in worship. And this, she started singing, you're great. You do miracles so great. I'm the miracle. He did that great. He did that great. So I want to, I'm going to um, share something with you. I'm going to play. I hadn't been able to play. I've started playing. I started playing again in March, but I hadn't been able to play. I know. These are very rough, but they're for God. They're for the glory of God.
hear the song as uh, 